Sam and Michaela, as well as Maggie and Glenn, arrive at Hoover Dam on the same helicopter despite being from opposite ends of the country. Occasionally cited as an error, it is actually a narrative oversight, as it is likely that Sam and Michaela were held in custody at a U.S. air base while waiting for Maggie and Glenn to arrive with Secretary Keller's party by plane, then they all left for Hoover Dam together on the helicopters. When Bumblebee attacks Brawl, he has missile launchers resembling Brawls. However, if you watch carefully, you can see them come out of his shoulders, and it's possible he had them all along. The Revenge of the Fallen toy line includes a Bumblebee figure with these guns coming out of his shoulders. There are some problems with Simmons' statement about various technologies being reverse-engineered from Megatron. Cars came about in one shape or form at about the turn of the century, and spaceflight technology was pioneered by German and Soviet scientists. This is possibly what they want you to think. Despite there's being not many F-22 Raptors, there's quite a squadron sent to Mission City. Optimus is shown to be much weaker than Megatron in this film, to the point that he's actually getting thrown around for most of the fight. However, in every subsequent film, he is able to match an even best Megatron in their confrontations. It should be noted that Optimus may have been holding back in this fight due to the presence of civilians. Glenn somehow manages to get a message from the signal. But how could he, when the signal is in Cybertronic language, symbols, which may be in some ways a Cybertronian, who has studied Earth, could do and vice versa, but a human, who has never even encountered with aliens. Doubtful.